Subscribe to the Books on Toast channel or no mangoes for you this season. We are doing a new book review today and the book that we are reviewing today is called Spring by Ali Smith. Scottish author Ali Smith is revising her seasons. She's attributing feelings and stories to all the four seasons and releasing a book at a time. The first one to come out was Autumn that was also shortlisted for the Man Booker Prize in 2017. The second book that came out was called Winter which came out in the winter of 2018. Now we're in spring and hence the book that's out this year is called Spring and I'm hoping summer will come in summer 2020. So what is spring really about? Okay, let's get down to the book. Um, it's deceivingly simple. The story revolves around this uh, TV and film director called Richard Lees, whose best friend has just succumbed to cancer, called Paddy, and she's his longtime collaborator. He's mourning his he's mourning her loss and takes a trip to Scotland to relive some of the old memories of their times together. Um, he does this while having conversations with himself and also an imaginary daughter. Do note that he's estranged from his actual daughter. Never mind, that's a side note. And uh, he just, and all the readers are standing witness to this memory. Um, he's recalling the previous conversations. He's also thinking about where his life is going to go now that Paddy is not there. So it's basically like this stream of consciousness that's running. And uh, meanwhile, um, there is this another character called Brittany Hall, who is a women's detention center guard. And she's just your very, very cynical, very bitter, just a compulsive eye roller Brit. And she lives with her mom and she's just very unhappy and cynical in life. She meets this young girl called Florence, who's like a teenager. And she's very idealistic and she's, you know, sticking to the revolution. And they make this very unlikely friendship. And due to circumstances in the novel, which I don't want to tell you because it's part of the plot, they all these three lives intersect in Scotland. The seasonal quarter of books that Ali Smith is publishing is basically reactive fiction to Brexit. She started writing the books uh, um, sometime in 2016, and each year, in each season, she's releasing one book. The stories are deceivingly simple, like I've already said, what spring is about. Uh, the underlying story is really about what happens to human lives when you put humanity first and politics later in the greatest crisis that Britain is going through in terms of political, social, and economic issues. Um, there is this constant debate between the leavers and the remainers. And all the Ali Smith series of novels within the seasonal quartet highlights that. Um, she's really trying through characters, plots, and also circumstances, because all the characters keep moving between Britain, Ireland, and Scotland. She's really trying that through all these compelling stories, there's always migrant representation, there is representation of people in color, though, even though the protagonists are always mainly Brit and white. So what she's really trying to do is draw our attention to what Brexit's ramifications can really mean. Currently, and she's really uh, attempting to put all news and facts of what is happening with Brexit and politics within the books. So as a reader who's not very familiar with what is happening with British politics, because come on, I mean, I, I don't really care, you know. I mean, I'm really caught up with my own politics. But it really helps to understand how the lives of many is going to be really impacted. And because she's writing at the speed that she is writing, she's writing a book in six months, she's really like trying very hard to ensure that there is sanctity of her literary prose, which she's a master of, but there is also an understanding of what happens to people when there is a darar between them. So all the different books have these very interesting stories. So Autumn is about this 101-year-old singer-songwriter who's at his deathbed. And he's uh, formed a very unlikely friendship with a 32-year-old young girl whose passions he's guiding by giving her vivid descriptions of art. Um, she's British, she's Scottish. That is the problem in this dynamic. Winter was about a love-hate relationship between siblings, which is actually highlighting the issues that arise between leavers and remainers. Ali Smith is a master storyteller, but don't get me wrong, her prose is very, very dense. It's not an easy breezy read. It'll take you some time because she really like builds the environment and she really tricks you into thinking that's a really simple story, but you will never really realize it's true intent till you finish reading the whole novel. What I really like personally is the vivid description of art throughout these three novels. In Autumn, she drew our attention to 60s pop artist called Pauline Boti, who's work on female sexuality, 
was very scandalous at the time. Um, then in winter, um, she speaks about Barbara Hepworth, who's a sculpturist and does these public artworks where she sto turns stone into art and most of it is a political comment. What is really amazing in spring is this uh, artwork by this artist called Tasita Dean, who does this uh, really massive, like seven meter long, massive chalkboard, um, you know, art of this mountain, of an avalanche happening in a mountain, just at the moment where the snow will come cascading down. It's captured at that point. It's such a large, it's such, it's such a big comment to make in a book like this because that's essentially it, right? Like the iceberg will at some point melt and then there'll be an avalanche. What, what you are doing as a reader is making your own interpretations of how this art is pivotal to the storyline and also at some level pivotal to Brexit. But those connections you make yourself, you, I mean, it could be anything, honestly. What I don't like about the book, um, as somebody who's living in India, I don't really understand Brexit to its nitty gritties and how it's going to really impact everything. And there are a lot of these political references and street references that I don't really understand. So I had to Google a lot of it to really understand what she's talking about. But having said that, that teaches you a thing or two about British stuff. You know. <laughs> Monkey. I just made up a word. Could be anything. Google it. Don't. <laughs> okay. Read this book if you like other reactive fiction work uh, previously done very brilliantly by many, many popular authors like Salman Rushdie's Midnight Children, which was really about partition. And of course, there is Kamala Shamsi's Home Fire, which was about ISIS. But anyway, this is a unique, unique reading experience. It also really uh, inspires you because when authors challenge themselves to produce something that is current and topical while keeping the story and literary devices intact, it really is, is a masterpiece. Rating, I give this book my three and a half. Sharon heads. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Um, if you've read any of the books in the series, um, please tell us what you thought about them. Tell us what you thought about spring, winter, and autumn, and what you think summer should be like. Summer is generally very harsh in India, but I don't know. Maybe it's nice. Hmm? Okay, please subscribe to the Books on Toast channel. Leave your comments in the comment section below, and tell us what you would like to review next.